Welcome, I'm Xionus and this is my roundup analysis for the recent late November and early December patches in Dota 2. The recent series of patches followed a clear update scheme to improve the newly introduced item and crafting system as well as introducing updated hero models. Interestingly, there have been made no gameplay changes since the massive 6.79 update. The recent patch series mainly focused on stabilizing the item and crafting system. However, small changes have been implemented to make the game more stable. Several issues where crashes could occur have been fixed. These include alt-tabbing and crashes upon watching replays on 32-bit Windows systems. Since the Three Spirits update, the armory, crafting and socketing has become a solid subsystem in the Dota 2 world. The recent updates mainly focused on dealing with stability issues during the crafting and socketing processes. There were many problems with user notifications that should now be resolved. For example, a bug that caused gems to get stacked on top of the item they were extracted from in the armory UI has been fixed. Items that are hidden under gems can be found by moving the gems or sorting the backpack. Another small but useful feature included item drop notifications. After acknowledging a new item drop, the armory will flip to the page where the item has been placed. There also existed a bug where crafting recipes requiring more than 4 items would consume the items but not include the crafting process, which is now fixed. If you are interested in trading, Wolf has changed their trading policies for the newly introduced gems. Gems extracted from an item that is tradable after date now become tradable after the same date. Gems extracted from an item that can never be traded no longer inherit that restriction. You can safely add gems to permanently untradable items without the gems becoming permanently untradable. Gems that are not tradable, like Ascendant gems, will make the item they are added to untradable, but only while those gems are socketed. Extracting the gems will remove the trade restrictions from the item they are added to. If one or more crafted inputs are permanently untradable, then the recipe and output will become permanently untradable as well. All previously crafted items have been grandfathered into these new rules and have been made tradable. Concerning the crafting and UI, small changes have been made to make the overall handling smoother. As an example, after closing the socketing and crafting UIs, the armory will return to its original page instead of going to page 1. The armory filter set has also been modified to be able to search for equipped and number of sockets items. In addition, you can preview color and effect changes in the socketing UI before committing the changes. A rather interesting unreleased update has made it into the client. It concerns the unreleased Fantasy Team UI components with multiple pro player portraits stored in the backend folder system. In addition, Japan has been added as a new server region to the game. A vast amount of new item sets have been released to the Dota 2 store. In addition, prices for most of these new sets are significantly lower than previous price tags. New sets have been released for Abaddon, Bounty Hunter, Sand King, Darkseer, Draw Ranger, Nature's Prophet and Warlock. In addition, Coco the Courageous and Tori the Sky Guardian have been added as new custom couriers. In addition, as in every update, the item drop lists have been updated with new items. The November 21st update was a pure hero update. The models for Venomancer, Gyrocopter, Luna, Dazzle and Pudge have been overhauled. Visuals for X and Omni Knight have been changed to reflect the overall hero style guidelines. In addition, several heroes have been renamed. Necrolite has been changed to Necrophos, Windrunner to Windranger and Lycanthrope has changed to Lycan. In addition, Necrophos, Juggernauts and Windranger's voice processing has been updated. For more information about the most recent changes, head over to the development blog of Dota 2. If you liked this video in particular, make sure to subscribe to my channel Xionisify for more Dota 2 content and guides. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.